are going to share some fun facts about turtles and tortoises and then feed them. Aren't we, Chloe? Look at that big smile. Today we're going to be not only introducing all of the turtles and tortoises we have, because there are there's at least one you've never met before in today's video, but we are going to share with you how each species got its name, and then one truly fun fact about that species. And then we're gonna feed them a shrimp, because if we feed shrimp, the video won't get demonetized like it would if we fed them a mouse. So we are gonna start with Chloe here, who Look is how a- how happy she is. Look at that big smile. Aww. Oh, you're such a good girl. Chloe is a common snapping turtle, and they get the name because, well, they snap. They like to sla snap a lot. Yeah, and they're pretty common. And they're pretty common. It's a pretty <laughs> self-explanatory uh, species name or common name for them. The scientists can, did not spare any expense with you, Chloe. That's right. The fun fact we'd like to share about common snapping turtles is that this is one of North America's oldest species species of turtle. This species has been around for so long that they survived the giant extinction event that wiped dinosaurs off the face of the earth 65 million years ago. And they've actually existed, snapping turtles, for about 90 million years, they estimate. And they actually haven't changed much since that original prehistoric design. And that's why they look so prehistoric looking still today. That tail with the scutes running down like that. Yeah, yeah. it's like a dinosaur yeah, tail on is. them. They are. The these are truly living fossils. Dinosaur feet. Oh, she says, don't <laughs> poke my feet. Don't you dare touch my feet. All right, so that's our fun fact about snapping turtles, and now let's feed her. All right, well, Emily is trying to feed Chloe, which shouldn't take very long. I'll give you one more fact. Snapping turtles generally are about 12 inches long in their shell. Chloe's a little stunted. She's about 10, and they weigh generally about 35 pounds. Go, Chloe, go. Eat that shrimp. Our next species is the Western Painted Turtle. We have two of these beautiful turtles here of this species. One has kind of a wonky shell because she was lacking in UVB in her previous home. But yeah, the Western Painted Turtle, or painted turtles in general, get the name because their bellies, or plastrons, typically look painted. They're beautiful. They each are unique. They're like a thumbprint to each animal. Fun fact is that their belly or plastron usually is painted to look like a leaf. And there's a special reason behind that that I just learned, which is what inspired this entire video, actually. The reason why it looks like a leaf is because when these are hatchlings and they're swimming on the surface of the water and a big catfish would like to eat them and swallow them whole, because catfish love to eat baby painted turtles. I mean, everything likes to eat Everything baby does. Turtles. They're bite-sized. They're yeah. a quarter size. Well, if a catfish is looking up from below, they see a leaf floating on the surface. Yeah. They don't see it as a turtle. No. So it's a form of camouflage. That's so cool that to me. Cool. I don't know. I think that's really cool. That's why it's a brighter design on babies and it kind of fades out once they become an adult because they don't need to rely on that camouflage quite as much. Sure. I think it's funny that uh, you can tell who our program turtle is and who's not our program oh, turtle. Yeah. Just she... with how I don't want to be in your hands. Yeah. Whatever, I don't care. Yeah, you can tell she does She does a lot of programs. <laughs> All right, let's feed these two girls. All right, and we have a lot of begging turtles in here, which we will get to, but... Here you go. Here's your shrimp. start with the uh, paintings here. This is Shelly, and that first one I fed is Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle don't you take Pfeiffer. it, go away. That's not yours. You're getting another one later. I mean, we could move on to the map turtles. All right, yeah, we'll move on to map turtles next. Map turtles are another, actually, native species to Minnesota, like everything has. Actually, every all the aquatic turtles we have are native to Minnesota, fun fact, uh, sure. bonus fact. But yeah. these are called map turtles because it looks like, if you, I mean, look close at their legs, it appears as though they have lines of a map, like a contour map, drawn all over their legs and a bit on their heads, too, or on their throats. Yeah. The fun fact that we have for this species is that there are different types of map turtles, and you can tell them apart by looking at their eyebrows of all things. This, for example, is a false map turtle, and you can tell because her eyebrows look like hockey sticks. This is a Washita map turtle, and their eyebrows look like large gold bars behind their eyes. And the third species of map turtle we have here anyway is called the Mississippi map turtle and they have crescent moon shaped stripes or eyebrows. That's she's probably actually my favorite. Is she? Her. I mean she's super friendly so I do like her because she's the program animal That's of course. Shelby. Yeah. I like these two, but she's got the cake with those those ridges and like almost striations down her back. Yeah, that's actually why the map turtles are also called sawback turtles because they yeah. have these crazy spikes. Yeah, and the males are sweet. Some of them have like what the ridgeback map turtle that's not native mm. to here, but they yeah, have like yeah. spikes that like. Yeah, yeah, that one's really cool. This yeah. one's actually shedding too. If you want to see how turtles shed, their scutes come off one at a time like that. 
This one's shedding kind of the corner of a couple scutes here. The scute wraps around the bottom of the shell and comes off all in one piece. Yeah. Ta -da! All right, now that we've made all the map turtles except for Shelby mad, do Here you want to try and feed them? Sure, Shelby. Do you want a shrimp? You'll eat right away. You don't care. You're yeah. used to programs. Uh -oh. oh no, the paint has come back for vengeance. <laughs> they Here, want their second. It. They want a second shrimp. Here we go. There's the false map turtle. Come here, guys. Where'd the others go? Oh, uh, those ones aren't as friendly. So. <laughs> no, they're a little more skittish. Yeah, we've learned that having them open to the public and letting people feed them makes them beg. They beg 24 seven here. Go away, painted turtle. There's oh, there's the, okay. I'll bring you the shrimp. Here you go. Oh, not you, musk turtle. No, you haven't had your turn. Okay, fine. Musk turtle's getting his early. Yeah, he's gonna have to film that one. Dragging that giant shrimper. Oh, well. Oh, no, the paint has got it. No, they're playing tug of war. Oh, oh painted one. <laughs> here you go, Mississippi map. Nice. Oh. Oh. Well, she'll follow it down. Yep. There we she go. Got it. Here you go, Washita map. Here, nice. not you, Taco. Go away. Yeah, Taco. Stop taco it. will steal everybody's food. Taco, that's not yours. No, no, stop it. Our next species we want to cover is the southern painted turtle. Yes, it is another type of painted turtle. There are multiple types of painted turtles, just like there are with map turtles. Can you tell what the biggest difference is between their shells? It's probably pretty obvious. The southern painted turtle has a dorsal stripe running down. I was going to say, this one gives you a side eye if you pick them up and hold them like that. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's the difference. Yeah. One gives you side eyes <laughs> yeah. and one doesn't. Yeah. One just is really nice. That's right. <laughs> the southern painteds are also generally smaller. This one has a little bit of growing still to do, but... Uh, it won't get quite as big as this adult western painted turtle. But yeah, the southerns have a stripe down their back. They're called the southern painted turtle because they live in the south and they're a type of painted turtle. Yeah. But the fun fact is nobody seems to know why, at least I did a lot of internet searching today to try to figure out why they have a stripe and nobody seems to know the answer. So they have a mystery stripe down their back. Do they yeah. have the, the leaf on their they belly? They don't have the leaf. Oh, it's like completely just pink. It is. Whoa. Yeah. And instead, they have a yellow to orange uh, edge to their shell oh, okay. that the westerns Wait. don't have. Where'd the westerns go? Oh, this one down here. Yeah, come yeah. here. Oh, weird. They have like a pattern on the side yeah, of their shell. Their pattern goes here and stops, and their pattern kind of you can see it leaking over the edge of the shell. Yeah, oh, but it's mainly that cool. dorsal stripe. Oh, yep, that makes sense. And she's the newest addition to the yeah, Snake Discovery family. She's brand new. She just got out of quarantine, so she was just added to the tank. We weren't supposed to have her, but we accidentally, yeah. through a miscommunication, said we would take in an aquatic turtle. So we did, because they drove here, because we told them we would take it. And you know what? She's doing really well in our in our community tank here. So she's just kind of an extra fun one to, to yep. meet. Do you want a shrimp? I don't yeah, know if she's, she's not gonna, gonna get a shrimp. Probably not, but we'll try. All right, let's see this. I'm gonna. Is she gonna eat it? Here, shrimp, right in front of you. She hasn't learned how to beg yet because she doesn't no. know that people bring her food. Yeah. Do you not want it? Okay. There she goes. Doesn't want the shrimp. Off into the distance and ran into that musk turtle. That's our next species. The musk turtle, well, this one already has a shrimp, so. Yeah. He may or may not have stolen it from a map turtle. Yeah, this is Elon, the musk turtle. They're all, they're called the musk turtle because when they're scared, they emit a really bad smelling musk, kind of like what a garter snake does. Yeah. They're also called the stink pot for the exact same reason. So this guy, Actually doesn't smell. Ours I don't mean, really musk anymore because they're used to people. He's holding on to a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> That's his priority right now. <laughs> the fun fact about musk turtles is they have two hinges on the bottom of their shell so that they can close up kind of like what a box turtle does. Can you see the hinges moving on camera? Yeah. Like that. That's there we go. Cool. Isn't that neat? So they have one in the front and one in the back. Can they actually fit all the way in like a box turtle? They can, unlike snapping turtles, which are too fat to fit in their shell. So you have Another your fun fact. You have your snapping turtle on this side that's too fat to fit in. You yep. have your normal turtle that can suck in but can't close, and yep. then your box turtle and musk turtles and stuff that can completely enclose themselves. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's cool. So yeah, this is Elon. We have three musk turtles in here. They are collectively known as the three musketeers. Yep. <laughs> they are little ground foragers. They just pick crap up that's on the ground and they keep the ground clean. Look, there's one right here. There he is. They're the size of pennies when they first hatch. So this is the smallest species of turtle in Minnesota by far. They are. This is adorable. an adult. This is a full grown adult. Yeah. All right, bud. Here's your, I, I guess. guess you can have your shrimp. Should we try and feed the other two? Sure. Musk turtle heard that food was coming. One right there. There you go. He's got his and he'll just run away with it now. Or they both will swim into the glass. <laughs> I don't know why. Do you want a shrimp? Nice. There you go, take it in the log or somebody else yeah. is gonna steal it from you. Hide it. 
Or run outside no, the no, log. No. Take it in the log. <laughs> Trust me. Or don't. Okay. They're not. I love them, but they're not the brightest turtles, and that's saying something because no turtle is bright. <laughs> we have one more species to cover in this tank that we have, and I'm sure a lot of you know who he is. But I'd like to take a quick break to point out the fact that Mike the minnow is still alive. Where is he? Where'd he go? Well, shoot. We have some guppies. Like, man, those little. Yeah, there's lots of guppies. Well, shoot, I just saw him. There's some guppies. There he is. There he is. Proof, he's still alive yep, from our old house. The, tur the fish that never wanted to die. Yeah. We also have a lot of guppies that like to sit like right in this corner for some reason and like have a meeting. <laughs> there's a bunch of baby guppies in there too. There, there are a bunch of baby guppies. <laughs> so, the last species. we all know the last one is going to be Taco. How are you going to catch him? I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Taco, I believe in you. Get come him. here. Come here, Taco. Oh gosh. No, come here. Uh, Get him, Emily. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, I'll steer him back towards you. Okay. Go that way, Taco. Oh. oh. How'd that work? That didn't work at all. It's so wet down there. It's back towards you. Yeah, now he knows we're trying to get him though, so he's not gonna let me. This is Taco. He is a spiny soft shell turtle, and these are built for speed. Like, they have fully webbed feet and everything. They're, I'm not gonna catch him. Yeah, they do come out and bask though. He does bask, Which yeah. I think is crazy, like right. weekends. He doesn't come out during the week. He knows when people are around. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he actually basks in the in the light, which is yeah. really cool. But the spiny soft shell turtle gets its name because it's, well, it has a very soft shell. It has a soft, flat, rubbery shell. It feels like a stingray. If you've ever done a touch tank before, they feel exactly the same. But there's a couple different types of soft shell turtles. These spinies get their name because near the front of their shell on top, on the carapace, they have little spines. And males typically have more than females. And he does have some little spines. So this is a spiny soft shell turtle. Males also stay a lot smaller than females. He's debatably a spiny soft shell, let me correct myself. Oh, really? There is debate that he might be a Guadalupe soft shell turtle. Oh. Yeah, because we bought him as a spiny, but now we're not sure now that he's matured. Anyway, oh. as far as the public is concerned coming into our zoo, he is our example of a spiny soft shell turtle. Regardless, also, <laughs> generally female soft shell turtles get much bigger than he gets. That's right. So. <laughs> the fun fact that we'd like to share about soft shell turtles in general is that since they are so well built for speed, I mean, they have a very aerodynamic shape. They, again, have fully webbed feet. When they are scared, they have the ability to zoom away from you or from any predator or threat. And instead of just swimming away though, they bury themselves in the soil or the sand in the water and they bury themselves completely. Their shell just slides right under the sand and they hide everything except for their little face, which pokes out of the sand. I wonder if they do like what frogs do, where you know, if you scare a frog in the water, it like pew, 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 and that kind of goes back to a similar area, but it stirs up the mud and sits underneath, oh, so yeah. you can't see it. Maybe, yeah. Mm. The sand actually helps keep their shells clean, too. Oh, I've heard the that. abrasiveness cleans it off. All right, Taco, it's time for your shrimp. Here you go, Taco. Use that long neck. Right, tug of war with Taco! They uh, also, oh, you won. Oh, I did, here. <laughs> Here's your prize. Good job. They also have a hard beak under their soft lips, just like uh, just like the regular turtles do as well. Yeah, so they can still bite. Yes, and it still hurts. Yes. And that covers all of our aquatic turtles here yeah. in the zoo. I have extra shrimp though, so I'm just gonna toss them in. Here, have yeah. some shrimp, everybody. Eat Good shrimp. job. We all did it. Nice, there you go, wait, rewards. Wait, I'm gonna give one to one of the musk turtles, because I like him. He's adorable, look at him. Here you go, little dude. Here you go. Look at this, don't bite me. Fight the trip. Yeah, there you go, little dude. Now it's time to move on to the two tortoises we have in the zoo. This is a leopard tortoise. This is Rafiki. Come back, come back, Rafiki. He's like, no, I want to go this way. <laughs> yes. Do you want the scratches? No, he doesn't want the scratches. Rafiki is a leopard tortoise, and they're called that because of the spots all over their shell. It's a pretty large species of tortoise. I kind of like his flair. He is a really, really pretty specimen. Uh, but the fun fact that we'd like to share about these is that in Africa, they graze on thistles. They like prickly Oof. plants. I can't imagine that tastes or feels very good coming in. Or going out the other end. Yeah, that cannot be comfortable, but they I eat mean, a lot of thistles in the wild. I've eaten a lot of spicy food and I've regretted it the next day, so. Yeah, they've gotta be feeling the same way. <laughs> We're not gonna feed Rafiki though on camera. He's a bit shy. We know he's not gonna eat by hand. So instead, I will share another fun fact. They spend a lot of their time in aardvark and fox burrows in the wild. Hmm. Yeah, they like tunnels. They also have uh, sensitive shells. Like you can scratch their butts and they'll wiggle yeah. against it. So. That's what I was doing at first. I was trying to like get him to sit still for me with shell scratches because they have so many nerve endings in their shell. Yeah. They can feel this and a lot of tortoises really like it. Oh, that shell scratches. Oh, look at that. 
And the last species in today's video is our second species of tortoise we have in the zoo, the sulcata tortoise. This is Sharon, our wonderful sulcata tortoise. She is amazing. She was abandoned, so she's a rescue, but she's here now and we'll have her forever. The sulcata tortoise, everybody knows, is a large species of tortoise. I think most people know that they're the third largest species in the world, so I'm not going to share that fun fact. Instead, I have another cool one saved for you. But first, they're called the sulcata tortoise because sulcata is just part of their scientific name. She wants these Carrots. She does want those carrots. Carrot you have to and wait. Sweet potato. <laughs> no, you have to wait, Sharon, for the carrots. But they're also called the spurred tortoises or spur thighed tortoises because the, their back legs have spurs. Yeah, I mean, and males are more prominent, if I remember correctly. I think so. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Rafiki was like, you're not letting me go back to my bed, so <laughs> this is my bed tonight. <laughs> so the fun fact we like to share about sulcatas is that. Unlike leopard tortoises, which use other animals' burrows to hide in or take shelter in, the sulcatas actually dig their own, and they will spend the hottest part of the days in Africa in those burrows to cool off. Makes sense. Yeah, so kind of cool. There she goes, off and away on her adventure. You're gonna have to go grab her again. Yeah, I am. All right, Sharon, it's your time to shine. We have a treat for you. Do you want a carrot? Here, Sharon. Of course I want a carrot. I better push your face into it first. No, here, open your mouth. There you go. Rip it off. Nice. I don't know about you, but I love watching tortoises eat. Yeah. It's like one of the most therapeutic things ever. Get it, get it, get it. I know, all right. <laughs> chew your food. Oh, she didn't even chew it. She just swallowed that like whole. She doesn't need to chew. I guess not. Chewing's for squares. <laughs> That's a really crunchy sweet potato. Yeah, it is. She doesn't seem to care. Nope. Rafiki is uh, over there. Do you want some Rafiki? He didn't when I offered it to him earlier. Do you want this carrot? A lot of times he's more interested in Sharon than food, so. Yeah. Sometimes kids ask what he's doing and we tell them he's trying to climb Sharon. Yeah, he's giving her a back rub. To ask their parents for more details. Yep. Nice. It's gonna be awkward here in a second. Uh-uh. He found his girlfriend. Yep. Got the mood lighting going on. I oh, don't know. Don't actually do it, Rafiki. <laughs> Jeez. There you go, she's Sharon. she's distracted with food. <laughs> yeah. It's like date night. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly like date night. So male sulcatas, another funny thing about them, since we're sitting here watching Sharon eat anyway, yeah. and Rafiki's pushing her, male sulcatas have a little fork right here that they actually use to mm -hmm. flip other male sulcata <laughs> tortoises. Flip them onto their yep. backs. And that's how they push them around. They're that's bullies. Why. You can never keep two male sulcatas together. You can keep two females and a male and a female, kind of. Male spend a little bit too much time with the female, but you can never ever have two males together. And it's so funny to watch a determined male yeah. just go across the yard to try and push over another yeah. male. Rafiki's ready for bed or something else. I'm not mm, sure. This is a PG channel. Sure what? Rafiki. Yeah. Rafiki, you can't do that on this channel. We're going to end this video before it becomes an R rated video. Exactly. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed our random turtle facts and feeding our turtles and tortoises. We figured we hadn't shown them on the channel in a while, so it was about time that they resurfaced again. But thanks again for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. And if you're still here, if anyone's ever wondered, when we do these educational type videos, we often have a script printed out with notes or, you know, just reminders of things we want to include. And I often print them on the backside of fan art. That's because I get to enjoy the fan art and also not waste a piece of paper on just a script we're going to use once. So I'm going to start giving you guys shout outs if I use your art in a video. So today's script was brought to you by Catherine, age eight. Thank yeah. you, Catherine. She did a great photo of going to snake discovery. I'm pretty sure is what that is. I think that's what that is. Uh oh, and it's 10 o'clock. Okay. Apparently we have to go home now. Good night.